Where do I begin? Every time I think, every time I'm watching the news and I think, oh, I have to cover that, that, that story, that's fucking insane. I have to cover. And then Trump nominates like a contagious pedophile meth head to lead the, <laughs> to lead the Department of Clean Living. And I'm like, I'm like, ah, oh, there goes my script. There it goes. <laughs> So let's cover one of the most important things that happened that got only a little bit of media coverage. Donald Trump seems to be gearing up for war with Iran already. In fact, he didn't just warn them. He didn't just caution them. He put them on notice. As of today, we are officially putting Iran on notice. He put them on notice? I thought that was only something said by, like, high school dance teams. Like, I... <laughs> I thought, like, one girl goes, you're on notice. And then the sassy gay guy on the other team goes, bring it. And then... And, and then the smug, popular white chick who doesn't know that she'll be waiting tables at Denny's her entire life goes, it's already been brought... <laughs> but... I would think Iran has probably been on notice since they realized they were surrounded by U.S. military bases. <laughs> kind of like over there and then some there and then all over that. They were probably like, I think we're on notice. <laughs> but don't worry. Even though Trump is pushing for war, the American people won't allow it. And more importantly, the Democrats in Congress won't allow it. In fact, while Trump has been busy pushing for war with Iran. The Democrats have been busy pushing for war with Iran! God damn it! Yes, they introduced House Joint Resolution 10, which authorized the use of military force to achieve the goal of preventing Iran from obtaining nuclear weapons. The resolution, introduced by Democrat Alcee Hastings, an extremely close ally of Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Ah, Debbie Wasserman Schultz. You, you, you might recall she was originally brought to life by a witch's spell cast over top an iron cauldron filled with menstrual blood and pterodactyl piss. The rest... I'm, a, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of hers. Not a fan. The resolution was presented on January 3rd when the Democrats already knew Emperor Babyfingers was about to take power. <laughs> They didn't care. They want war. And they want to send you or somebody you know to go die in it. Hmm, going, going, to, going to war because we think a Middle Eastern country might develop weapons of mass destruction. Why does that sound familiar? <laughs> well, I'm sure it'll be a cakewalk, right? How bad could it possibly be? <laughs> Apparently... <laughs> Apparently, our foreign policy is being designed by people with Alzheimer's. <laughs> here's, here's a recent photo of our top Pentagon think tank. We'll, we'll, we'll say there's weapons of mass destruction. We haven't tried that yet, have we? Can I have your pudding? <laughs> so that's the top of our Pentagon. So why are the Democrats and the Republicans, basically the entire corporate government, gearing up for war? Like the real reason, not the bullshit reason they're throwing at us. Well, one important factor, rarely mentioned by the mainstream media, is that Iran is getting ready to drop the petrodollar. They don't want to be paid for their oil in U.S. dollars anymore. So what does that matter? You know, sure, it'll hurt the, hurt, the, hurt the American economy a little and perhaps send a message to other Arab nations that dropping the dollar is a, is a good thing to do. But it's not like we would destroy a country just because they stopped using the dollar. Well, here's an interesting article from Time magazine in 2000 before we invaded Iraq. Iraq says it will no longer accept dollars for oil because it does not want to deal in the currency of the enemy. And it's not just Iraq. Remember when we destroyed Libya? Declassified emails reveal NATO killed Gaddafi to stop Libyan creation of gold-backed currency. This was also confirmed by John Perkins, author of the bestseller Confessions of an Economic Hitman, one of the books that, that, that first made me go, <laughs> What? Why? So many people are lying to us! <laughs> 
John Perkins said in the months in the months running up to the UN resolution that allowed the US and its allies to send troops into Libya. Muammar Gaddafi was openly advocating the creation of a new currency that would rival the dollar and euro. In fact, he called upon African and Muslim nations to join an alliance that would make this new currency, the gold dinar, their primary form of money and foreign exchange. This is not to be, these, these, these gold dinars are not to be confused with Trump's gold dinners that he eats every <laughs> night. It's just a pile of gold that he just kind of scarves down. And, and then he literally shits bricks of gold, <laughs> of gold. Rumor has it he does that to stay one step ahead of uh, uh, Kim Jong-un, who apparently tells his people that he never shits at all. That's, that's real, and that would also explain why he looks so bloated. Very, very backed up, very... My lower intestine has put me on notice. Perkins continues, the empire maintains a large standing military that is ready to protect the currency and the entire economic system that depends on it through extreme violence. The U.S., or more to the point, the corporatocracy, is doing it and is determined to punish any individual that tries to stop them. Gaddafi is but the latest example. Not anymore. Iran is about to be the latest example. And the Trump administration will tell you Iran is acting aggressive. Iran is now feeling emboldened. Iran is now feeling emboldened. <laughs> you may... You may think that we, the U.S., have exhibited destabilizing behavior across the Middle East, invading Afghanistan and, and Iraq and, and bombing Syria, Yemen, Libya, and other countries I would do a poor job pronouncing. But no, it is not our behavior that is destabilizing. Underscore what should have been clear to the international community all along about Iran's destabilizing behavior across the entire Middle East. Yes, they have been destabilizing by... Uh, frowning at us while we were bombing all those countries. <laughs> they were... They were giving us the stink eye. And the 26,000 bombs we dropped in that region last year were the stabilizing kind of bombs. They, they, they don't even explode. They just fluffy down to the ground. And it's memory foam. They're memory foam bombs, really. <laughs> But in case we haven't pushed Iran far enough, this month we're taking part in Operation Unified Trident, a joint exercise in the Persian Gulf that will simulate a military confrontation with Iran. Ron Paul's website said, how would Washington respond if a bill was active in the Iranian parliament authorizing war on the United States and the Iranian Navy began conducting joint exercises with the Chinese? in the Gulf of Mexico, simulating an attack on the United States. Um, I think we'd flip the fuck out. <laughs> the, only, the only country we've allowed to attack the Gulf of Mexico and receive essentially no punishment is the oil country of BP, all right? <laughs> BP attacked the Gulf of Mexico, fucking eliminated our fish, our turtles, our dolphins, our dolphins. Our dolphins? <laughs> Nailed it. I mean, what kind of sick fox attack a country's dolphins? Seriously. <laughs> or darf -ar -ar fins. But... But by, you know, we, we, we allowed them... We then allowed them back into the Gulf of Mexico. See? We allowed them back in. I wonder what BP named their new project last year. Probably something designed to make us feel safe, to make us feel the deep water horizon catastrophe could never happen again. They, they, they probably named it Operation, don't worry, we got this, you know? <laughs> or, or, or Operation, sit back and enjoy this video of a bunny rabbit wearing a funny hat <laughs> while, while, while we hire someone to gently lick your nipples. That's... <laughs> they, they probably, probably named it something like that. BP approves Mad Dog Phase 2. <laughs> they named the project Mad Dog. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I can't. I can't. I'm done. I can't. I can't. Screw it. I can't. I'm out. Oh. They lie to us a little bit. They're 
you're not even, you now have a maniac in charge of our military, and he's named Mad Dog, and BP's next disaster is named Mad Dog. These assholes aren't even drying anymore. <laughs> Point is, you destroy our water, our sea, our air, and we'll reward you with more contracts. But you fuck with our currency. You fuck with our global banking system. We will bomb the shit out of you. No number of destroyed lives is too many when it comes to ensuring our global economic dominance. A dominance in an economic system that is eating this planet alive. And that's why I have to say, Corporatocracy, you're on notice. <laughs> We're all sick.